You're tuned to listener-supported KAWC, a service of Arizona Western College. We are Yuma Public Radio. Coming up in about 10 minutes, it's the Diane Rehm Show on KAWC AM 1320 and a topic that has such relevance for today, the recession and its impact on financial aid and eligibility for financial aid. So some students are scrambling also at 9. When you support KAWC during the membership drive, which is now... You're helping champion musicians that deserve to be heard but seldom, if ever, are heard on other radio stations. And you're also supporting a catalog of music that's unlimited in its variety and depth. KAWC searches out the best new artists and old favorites, blends them all together without regard to the limited genre definitions that guide what many stations play. It's all possible because of your donation during this membership drive. Listener-supported KAWC is in need of your funding. It takes just a couple minutes to make a big difference. Call 344-7693 because Mark Reynolds is coming up at 9 o'clock and Jim Anderson's joining us and Matt Molinar, our web designer, are here. Uh, hey Matt, do you ever listen to The Bridge? Um, you know, I, I try to catch a little bit of everything when I'm in the car yeah. and uh, just going from one place, one appointment to another. So uh, that's kind of my yeah, just catch what I can. Yeah, a lot of great, a lot of great music that we provide, and and uh, it's something that um, the the community has really started to understand and identify, um, is that we give them two different choices. Not many communities in the country, um, especially not communities the size of Yuma, have two public radio stations, and they can choose to stay with news all day long if they like. Uh, start with that uh, NPR simulcast programming on both our AM and FM, but at 9 o'clock, they get a choice to continue with our news and information programming with, with shows like Talk of the Nation and Diane Ream, or they can, uh, when they switch over to AM, or they stick with FM, and they get to listen to Mark Reynolds in the bridge. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for, the, for us to once again provide choice. Give us a call at 347-6793. You can uh, tell us which program that you like to support. When you call, it takes a couple of minutes. Um, only that, maybe about two minutes. You can talk to one of our team members and um, tell us what it is that uh, you value on the station, what you like most. If you have some uh, some constructive criticism, we, we welcome that as well. Um, but tell us what level that you think you can support us. Call us now at 344-7693, and you can give us that, uh, that feedback as well as that support. That's what Ingrid did. Ingrid, thanks so much for giving us your call. Ingrid uh, does look like she's a full-time resident. Uh, thanks again, Ingrid. Glad to know that you enjoy NPR's unbiased news. Um, and uh, we hope that we'll hear from more of you. As I just got the update. We have about six hundred dollars to go and a little less than ten minutes to do it we need to stay on track with these goals so that we don't fall behind you can help us do it now when you call three four four seven six nine three and um, I know that you've done some work for a few other organizations would you share with our listeners who else you've um, created sites for so when they see that work it's like well that does look like MGM style oh yeah definitely we we've, we've been in business for over 10 years now so we've done many websites uh many of the top businesses in town and out of town also that uh, we've, we've built websites for uh, one of the biggest was arizona western college um, fantastic client great project and uh, you know worked with a lot of great people here on campus um, through that we also did the website for the athletics department which kind of has a unique look and feel to mm -hmm. it um, also, uh, a, another one related to the college is the Tech Prep Program, which is a fantastic program that makes sure uh, or helps to make sure that kids will proceed to higher education out of high school. And um, I'm really proud of that website, both in, on the build of the website and yeah. the content that uh, the way it helps the kids in the community. Well, I think it's a real testimony to to the quality of your work and the satisfaction of your clients that that organizations that are related like. Um, are recommending you um, because you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't have that type of crossover to other departments if, if we everybody wasn't so happy that's one of the reasons that we went with you is we loved what we'd seen that you've done um, it, it's it's a win-win because my business is very referral based yep. and if I treat my clients right they're gonna pass me on to their colleagues and their friends and everybody benefits from that well we couldn't recommend MGM design more highly Wow, thank you very yeah. much yes, sir give us a call at three four four seven six nine three if um, if you uh, uh, like what uh, Matt's done for us on the website or, or what we do on, for you on a daily basis, call us now at 344-7693. And perhaps you think you don't have to give to public broadcasting because the federal government pays for your listing or listening. It is true that KAWC does get some money from the government, but when you do the math, the federal investment in public broadcasting works out to $1.53 per person per year. By comparison, you could pay for about a day of cable or satellite television with $1.53, but that's not much. The tax dollars are helpful, but they aren't.
keep this program, Morning Edition, and all the other programs you enjoy on the air, please call with your contribution now and give as generously as you can, 344-7693. That's 344-7693, and you can give at whatever level you're comfortable with giving. I know we have students out there who uh, are worried about their pocketbooks as well sure. and uh, maybe spending their parents' money. Uh, give us some of that. We'll, we'll take it. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> you could skip a pizza, send your money That's to right. KWC. Call us at 344-7693. And you know what? Maybe you're one of those folks who, who isn't a listener or who isn't a uh, student, um, but you are a listener and you'd like to help out other listeners. If We have about $600 to go. If we were able to get two dollar a day sponsorships, um, two contributions at just a dollar a day, we'd be well over that hourly goal. And and you know that there are folks out there who don't have the financial wherewithal to be able to pay for their own listening. You could do so. Um, and, and um, I know that you had mentioned earlier, Matt, that there were a number of folks that you wanted to talk to because you know that you said you've got some friends out there you know are listening and, and they yeah, should be making uh, the phones ring. Yeah, I kind of joked around with my friends about uh, listening and being on air this morning, and uh, so I know a lot of my friends like Amy with the Brew Crew is listening to this morning. And come on, uh, Amy. And, and now's the catch: you got to call in and make a contribution. So my Brew Crew <laughs> friends, the Next Gen uh, Leadership Council, you guys would be great people to call in and support this. All my friends at the Chamber of Commerce, um, this is uh, now's the time to call. And if we get a bunch of people calling in right now, maybe they'll all get invited back. All right. <laughs> call us at 344-7693. I think we're going to invite you back anyway. But that doesn't mean that your friends shouldn't call to show their support. Um, and, and then that way, it's like they, get, they buy the opportunity to rib you for, what, months and months. Hey, I'll, I'll take That's that. That's true. Do we have any radios left? Or are we all left? Okay. Yeah, we have a couple of the uh, a couple of the Eton radios. These are the, the new design, newly designed um, glove com- sized emergency radios with flash, um, with a flashlight, a solar power or a solar panel for power during the day. At a hundred dollar contribution, we'd be glad to send you. Um, we'd be glad to send you that. Oh, I see. I'm being prompted to show it to you on cable channel 74 and 75. <laughs> she, she's she, Alice is Alice is pointing. The pledge princess is just pointing in there, and I'm like, what? What's going pledge on? Princess. What did I miss? Um, call us at 344-7693. Show your support. You could pick up this radio with a hundred dollar contribution. One of the things that's way popular is the KAWC Day sponsorship. Eight announcements on the day of your choice, but you can't get it if you don't call 344-7693. Hi, it's Diane Rehm. Whether you've been a human for many years or just a few months, we hope you've come to rely on KAWC for NPR news and information. We also hope you enjoy KAWC's eclectic music and entertaining programs. Because KAWC is here for you every day, we're asking you to be there for us. Please make a new or renewing contribution to support the programs you've come to count on. Call 344-7693 right now and invest in KAWC. And a reminder that the Diane Ream Show starts in just a few minutes on KAWC AM 1320. She brings up a good point. So much music, so much opportunity for listening Uh on a variety of levels, uh, on our two stations, talk on AM 1320, music on 88.9 FM. Mark Reynolds begins his music show in just a couple of minutes as well. Give us a call. We have two minutes left. Um, we still have about $600 to go. We need a few of you to give us calls. If a few of you at that $100 call, if just two of you at a dollar a day level, or maybe a handful at the $50 a day introductory new member level. That would help us reach our goal. That helps us keep on track. Call us now at 344-7693 with a show of support that is comfortable for you and that reflects your listenership and the value that you get from your public radio station, Yuma Public Radio. Call us at 344-7693. We can do it with your help. It's your station, It's and it's uh, the few times a year we ask you to invest in that uh, program that we deliver to you on a daily basis. Call us at 344-7693. And my thanks to everyone who's joined us this morning. Alice Ferris, Lori Stoff, Matt Molinar, and Jim Anderson. Uh, Dave Reek was here earlier. You're tuned to listener-supported KAWC Yuma Public Radio. We are a service of Arizona Western College, broadcasting from studios 
on the AWC campus in Yuma. Look for a high of 81 degrees today over Yuma under mostly sunny skies, west-northwest winds at 6 to 11 miles per hour, but gusting as high as 23. Partly cloudy tonight with a low of 55 and mostly sunny again tomorrow where we, where we will be again. It's almost 9 o'clock. Jazz fans have a place to go on KAWC, Yuma Public Radio, for the best in straight-ahead jazz. This is Doc Jazz, and I'm your host every Saturday at noon for two hours of jazz straight ahead. Join me for the best new and some old favorites of mainstream jazz, plus a rundown of the places to hear live jazz across the Southwest. Every Saturday at noon on Yuma Public Radio, KAWC. Last year, you counted on KAWC and NPR to understand the central issues around the election. This year, you're counting on us to help you understand our complex economic situation. Your support is needed now to make this coverage possible again this year. Please call 344-7693 to invest in Yuma's NPR source. Thank you. This is NPR News. New CIA Director Leon Panetta wasted no time in staking out a new position on what interrogation guidelines his agency should follow. NPR's Tom Jelton reports. Leon Panetta's predecessor as CIA Director Michael Hayden argued that agency officers should be able to use so-called enhanced interrogation methods that aren't mentioned in the Army Field Manual guidelines but that are nevertheless legal. On his second full day in office, President Obama ordered all U.S. government interrogators to abide by the Army Manual. The President or the Attorney General could still authorize so-called enhanced interrogation methods, but Leon Panetta says flatly that as CIA Director, he will not recommend any such exception. My personal view, Panetta told reporters, is that the Army Manual gives us all the tools we need. President Obama's order was meant to underscore his administration's promise never to torture suspected terrorists in an effort to get information from them. Tom Jelton, NPR News, Washington. You're listening to The Diane Rehm Show on listener-supported AM 1320 KAWC. I'm Lou Gum. It's 9.06.